AITA for leaving my sister's wedding early after she called my career a hobby. So I, 26F, just got back from my sister's, 28F, wedding last weekend, and I'm still pretty upset about what happened. I'm hoping y'all can give me some perspective, because right now, I feel like crap. Some background. My sister Anna and I have always had a complicated relationship. She's the type A, always on top of everything, super successful one, while I've always been more laid back and creative. I'm an artist, and I recently started my own small business selling my paintings and doing commissions. It's been slow, but it's starting to pick up, and I'm really proud of it. But my family, especially Anna, has always been a bit dismissive of my career choice. They don't get why I didn't go the traditional route like she did. Anyway, fast forward to the wedding. The ceremony was beautiful, and I was honestly so happy for her. I even helped out a lot with the planning. Even though I wasn't the maid of honor, that was her best friend. I was doing my best to be there for her, because despite everything, she's my sister and I love her. At the reception, I finally got a moment alone with Anna to congratulate her. I told her how amazing everything was, how happy I was for her, all that stuff. And she just smiles and says, Thanks. I'm surprised you actually made it. I figured you'd be too busy with your little hobby business. I was stunned. Like, did she really just call my career a hobby? I kind of laughed it off and said, It's not a hobby, it's my job. But she just shrugged and said, Well, it's not a real job, but I'm glad you're having fun with it. I didn't know what to say, so I just walked away. I tried to enjoy the rest of the night. But honestly, I couldn't shake what she said. It felt like she was belittling everything I've been working so hard for. So after dinner, I just decided to leave. I didn't say goodbye to her or anyone. I just grabbed my stuff and left. Now, my mom is furious with me for ruining the night by leaving early. And Anna hasn't spoken to me since. My dad is trying to stay neutral. But he did say I might have overreacted. I don't know, maybe I did. But it really hurt hearing her say that especially on her wedding day when I was just trying to support her. AIEA for leaving the wedding early? These are the opinions of some subscribers. Deterrent Rose. NTA. It was rude to begin with, but the fact that that's how she responded to you congratulating her tells me that she was intentionally trying to be hurtful and dismissive. You did not overreact by leaving. Her response to you was incredibly inappropriate. Is it possible there's a little bit of jealousy that your passion has become a sustainable career and that deep down, maybe she's not quite as satisfied with her career? Just a thought. It could also be that she's just an asshole, but I find that sometimes jealousy comes out as snark and criticism. Puddling. Golden child. You know, OP just isn't quite there yet. As usual. Haha, <laughs> such a funny joke. Always a joke. The black sheep. Always behind. Playing catch up. She'll get there. Just needs more everything. I bet you've heard that shit all your life. From all of them. NTA. Stand your ground and get her to apologize. Ask her if you can say to her, it's such a shame you're jealous that I like my career and I'm fucking fantastic at it. But no need to worry. You'll catch up and find something meaningful to do too one day. And hang up slash walk out slash text it slash mute. Who cares? She's not a loving or respectful sister. So why should you be? Please ask your parents why they think it's okay for her to be insulting and a disrespectful mood to you and face no consequences. What they would think if she said that about their career slash life's work, their passions and art. All art is good, from a glorious spreadsheet to a painting or a video game. Whatever floats your boat and you appreciate the beauty of and enjoy. I have a feeling nobody will agree with you and will expect you to rug sweep slash excuse slash swallow all venom and sneer from your sister and never mention again. Unless it's to bash you with. That is, sorry OP, your family sucks. Vast easy. I would like to add to all the other comments. You should lay down a marker for your family. You can be upset with me. That's your right. But here are things I will not be responsible for. 1. I did not ruin the wedding. If you can't be all about your husband on that day, I'm sorry, but you have bigger problems than me leaving. Two, until you change your attitude to my job slash career path that I put my heart into, you don't get access to me. I'm going to take some time to work on myself and my business, and I suggest you do the same. Until you are ready to apologize for what you both have said to me, I'm taking a break. Three, you can say what you like to anyone who is willing to listen. Have at it.
but I refuse to be your punching bag any longer. I love you all, but belittling my career choices when I just wished you all the best for your marriage shows where your priorities lie in regards to me in your life. You know where to find me when you're ready to have a civilized conversation about this. But for now, I recommend you take some time to reflect upon this. Take a lot of time. Aggressive peace. NTA. Your sister is a bully. Her night was only ruined because you rightfully stood up for yourself after she had chosen to belittle you. Your sister's behavior came from a place of needing to feel superior and have one-upmanship. Even on her own wedding day, where she was the center of attention. She is not talking to you because bullies can dish it out but cannot take any comeback. She also knows she was wrong for what she did, but is too prideful to admit it. Read jobs, believe me, going down the traditional route does not mean job security for life. I was made redundant by a company six months ago and still haven't found a job. Read your mother's reaction. It is clear your sister is a golden child. Therefore, the latter's behavior cannot be criticized. Read your father. You did not overreact. He is saying that because with your mother and sister against you, it is easier for him to make that claim, no matter how untrue. Lastly, I bet you've not lived off your parents, constantly borrowed money, and not lived within your means. Yet your sister had a whole wedding, and at least part of it paid for her. So much for that traditional route. Caution and advice. Just playing devil's advocate here. I have a friend of who has a great career, typical stable job, pays well, health insurance, etc. However, her older brother who has a comp sci degree decided the path of having a typical career just wasn't for him. I'm not sure what he does now, but it's something in the arts and his partner is a yoga instructor. The two of them don't have car, have complained multiple times that they cannot afford to have children, they can't afford a home, they can't afford proper care because of lack of insurance, etc. They've become a burden on my friend's parents because they constantly ask to borrow the car for grocery shopping or longer drives, etc. These are two adults where, at the very least, if one of them got a stable job, it would afford them the things they complain about. But they chose not to. They're now at the point where they are banking on my friend's parents passing, so they get some form of inheritance. In the car. It's really awful to see. My friend has worked so hard to get where she is in her career. Never asks anything of her parents. And yet here's her brother being a complete burden with things he should be more than capable of handling. You bet your ass she is resentful of him. In some respect, I can see your sister's complete resentment of not going down a traditional career path if you are constantly asking your parents for bailouts and whatever have you in lack of having a stable career. Or even if you are asking her for bailouts, etc. I don't know what your situation is, but it sounds like this resentment is years of buildup on her part. Or it could just be that she spent years... Thousands of dollars on schooling, a lot of hard work, and perseverance to have the career that she has today. Then she sees you. You're just drawing in her eyes. She doesn't see it as something you worked hard for like the work you put in to become a lawyer, a doctor, or someone in STEM. And she's resentful of that. Eliza Janner Ducks. I'm sure I'll be downvoted for this, but ESH. Her, for obvious reasons. She sounds condescending and rude. Your feelings are understandable, but I'm with your dad. You went a little extreme with them. Storming out of a wedding without saying goodbye to a sister you say you love over issues that have brewed for years is a lot. It creates a scene, whether you intended it to or not, when you could have just privately talked with her about how much this hurt you when the wedding was over. Some people will say that her rudeness excuses you for anything you do slash don't do in return. And I guess that's one way to look at it. But if you love her and care about the relationship, apologize for leaving abruptly and calmly explain to her exactly how insulting and invalidating her reaction to your work has been. Unfortunately, your actions will make it harder for her to care about having hurt you because you have her a valid reason to be hurt and angry herself. Conscious safety. NTA, I can't believe your family is so self-centered and self-absorbed. You have a very nice career and you're taking it seriously and actually have small business. You sister was a self-centered person who had zero right to say what she said and the fact your father and mother think you're overreacting, they can both kick rocks. When you're making the bigs buck with your quote hobby business, just smile when they have their jaws hit the floor.